sun is shining. It is so, so gorgeous out. I cannot wait to get outside. I need to run some errands and I just want to be out and about. It's one of those days. Welcome to this vlog. This is going to be 24 hours with us, with a mom of twin toddlers. And on Fridays, I do have childcare. So the beginning of this video is just going to be me getting things done while the girls are being looked after by their grandparents. So lots of things to do today. I spent the entire morning cleaning my house. I really love cleaning on Friday, start the weekend in a good headspace, and cleaning really helps me. So it is Friday. Happy weekend to us all. We made it. And on the note of good vibes, good energy, all the good things, I wanted to call out the sponsor of this video, and it is Carmen's Medicinals. And I'm really excited to talk about this brand. I haven't really talked about this on my channel but I have been someone that really really benefits from CBD and I've talked about anxiety and stress and periods of depression and all of the things that I think we face as parents um, and just human beings in general like life is hard and I think doing things that help make us better humans is good. So CBD helps me with the anxiety. It just kind of evens me out. Also recently in the last few weeks and months I've struggled deeply with insomnia and CBD has actually been the first thing to really help me with that. CBD also really helps with chronic pain if you suffer from that and inflammation which is something I deal with. So a lot of great benefits. I was really excited to work with Carmen's Medicinals specifically. They're an awesome brand. Their origin story is incredible and I was reminded of that with and they sent me a note with my most recent order. Essentially, the founder of Juan was trying to create a supplement that would help his grandmother who was suffering from cancer and in pain and wanted to give her something that would really help and was made with good ingredients. And their slogan is, if it isn't good enough for my grandma, then it's not a Carmen's product. I personally love taking a supplement from a brand that is treating me like they would their grandmother. So I wanted to show you two products from them. This is the packaging. This is the cannabinoids and it isn't a turmeric and ginger flavor. It's like a tropical fruit flavor that includes those two ingredients and I love turmeric and I love ginger so all of the packaging is childproof so the locks you really have to push down and turn which is important for me in a home with two little toddlers running around I've really really enjoyed the effects of these I'm actually going to take one tonight with Jonathan we have some things we need to get done around the house I just want to feel good I want to sleep well tonight so I will be taking these this evening so Carmen's Medicinals is a reputable CBD brand they are committed to making products with natural and quality ingredients and in these CBD gummies there is 25 milligrams per serving and overall 750 milligrams per container they use only high quality CBD and natural ingredients as mentioned and something else that is a known benefit of CBD and I have experienced personally is mood regulation so I'm someone that has big emotions sometimes it's hard for me to get that under control and CBD has been something that has really worked for me in that area of my life and the recommended usage is one gummy you're getting 25 milligrams in that one gummy at a time and it's the perfect amount I have tried a lot of different products and I just really really have noticed a difference with these they stand out to me another product by Carmen's medicinals are their focus gummies that I love I am someone that gets distracted easily and with the career path I'm kind of taking right now I need to find a way to really hone in and focus with you know time on my hands right I need to organize my day on my own and this helps me so much it's made with lion's mane and cognate grape extract they're specifically created to enhance concentration memory cognitive ability and I've just really liked taking these in the morning when I'm trying to things done. Yeah, I would love to hear from you all on your experiences or any questions you have around CBD. Let's chat about that in the comments. I really would love to hear from you. While you're down there, you can check out the link to shop Carmen's Medicinals along with a discount code. So if you use code Courtney, you will get a discount on their website. Let's get back into this vlog. We have a lot to do today and we're going to get it done. Okay, I just picked up Duncan. I'm now in the Target parking lot. This is a good day. I got a lot of work done today, which I'm really happy about. And now I need to get some errands and things that we need at the house. I'm grateful to have some time to do that. And I want to go grocery shopping. I need to pick up something at Staples for my thrift bundle business. We're just getting things done right now. But like to have a nice coffee in your hand when you're about to peruse the Target, it's just, it's a high you cannot replicate in any other way. But you guys, I need to plug the Dunkin' Churro. I love Dunkin'. I know everyone's obsessed with Starbucks. I like Starbucks. I'm just getting bored of it, I think. I'm someone that likes change and I need to to not do the same thing 
constantly year over year on end like drink Starbucks coffee so I'm trying to switch back over to Dunkin right now maybe it'll just be for today I don't know one thing about human beings they can change the things that they like right now I'm like not vibing with Starbucks but who's to say I'm not gonna go get a Starbucks tomorrow morning you know I loved the hazelnut swirl flavor at Dunkin it was my favorite it was my go-to I would get a cold brew two pumps hazelnut swirl and milk they got rid of that so the caramel is fine but I can make that at home we have caramel so I saw that they had a churro flavor and it's really good highly recommend but before I go into Target I wanted to quickly do a little book review of Iron Flame finished it this week and I haven't been the same since I am really into reading right now I was just texting my girlfriend Lily and she's always been like such a bookworm like really into reading and I just kind of lost my love for it I was really into reading in college and I just think life gets busy and I have read but I haven't really like been fully emerged in a book and this book in this series Empyrean series giving me life and I say all that because I'm gonna be reading more and I might incorporate that into my channel a little bit more and just get my reviews on books when I read. I loved Iron Flame. I know that there's a lot of mixed opinions on here. Like my other girlfriend, Haley, also is a big reader and she's really into like these fantasy type novels. And she had a lot of like, critiques on Iron Flame and a lot of them are warranted but I just I've heard a lot of people say what she has said which is the writing isn't great there's a lot of confusion but for whatever reason I still found it to be like one of the best books I've ever read in the sense that it just captivated me. I fell in love with the characters. It's not like the most poetic book I've ever read or anything like that, but I I just loved it so much. I keep listening to podcasts that are like debriefing the book. I keep watching like TikTok videos and Instagram reels that are trying to predict what the next book is going to entail. And uh, I'm just like, I'm so obsessed. I'm literally going to go to the midnight premiere of this next book whenever it comes out. Oh my God, I could really talk in length about this, but I don't want that to be this whole video. But I have so many thoughts swirling in my little brain, big brain, big brain. But holy crap, that ending, you guys. I will say at each chapter how it gives like a little excerpt. One of the excerpts, I sent a screenshot of it as I was reading to my friends who had already finished the book and I was like, I have a feeling one of the main characters is gonna be Venon. Lo and behold, Daddy Zayden over to the dark side. Oh my God, I was like shook, but I kind of had a feeling that was going to happen. I'm also so scared. I feel like ugh, they're gonna pull some Edward Jacob shit where Dane is going to like step in and him and Violet are going to be the main characters of the next book because Zayden's going to have to like go away and figure out his Venom stuff. I feel like they're really setting us up for that because they're putting Dane back into Violet's life and all of this and I don't want that. I just want Zayden and Violet till I die, you know? Also, everyone's saying that Violet is obviously going to have a second signet because Andarna is like the seventh breed and it's going to be a signet we haven't heard about before or, like Oh my god. Oh, thank god I didn't even say this, but I have my book club meeting with my two best friends later on today and I can get all of these thoughts out to people that can speak back to me in real time. But please let me know down below if you read Iron Flame and what your thoughts were because I truly truly feel like I'm just I'm part of the book. I'm part of the revolution. I'm just I'm in it. I'm so in it. I'm physically at Target, but my heart my heart is in Arishia, you know? I feel like I would be from the same place Satan is from. I feel like we vibe, you know? But anyways, that's that. If any of you care, I would love to continue the conversation. Feel free to, again, comment down below or send me a message on YouTube or Instagram and we can chat all things books. This is fun for me. And I love talking with you guys in whatever capacity. So thanks for indulging me. For those of you that stuck around for this segment, I'm going to go run my little errands now and possibly buy a few things in Target that I don't need. Cause that's just, that's what happened. Okay, that sun, she is bright and she is shining. I'm wrapping something up right now on my laptop, trying to finish tidying the house, just organize the girls room. What else did I do? I need to go fold laundry, prep dinner. So it's a busy day. And again, with having childcare Friday, it's amazing because I can get work done and just like get myself in order for the weekend food prep meal prepping getting just life in order and it's it's so wonderful but I wanted to show you guys in my last vlog I think it was my last vlog maybe two vlogs ago can't keep track I had my little self-care date night party of one and did my little clay creations and I wanted to show you the finished product because I'm really happy with them especially with springtime I'm so into color right now I just want all the color in 
makes me so happy. So that's what I was vibing with. I think they came out so cute, you guys, especially for like Easter. Maybe I'll bring my little desserts to Easter on my little plate that I crafted with my bare hands, okay? This one is cute. I love the colors. I think it's so cute. I'm really happy with the shape of it. It's just that earthy ceramic look. And then this one, I put little flowers all over. I don't really know why, but that's what I did. And I think it came out really cute. So I knew that I didn't show you at the end of that video. Finished products and here they are. I'm listening to a podcast right now. I was also thinking that I never talk about podcasts, which is funny because they are such a big part of my life but obviously I'm never listening to a podcast while I'm vlogging but right now my favorite podcasts are the toast I am a toaster not sure if I have any other toasters as subscribers but I listen to the toast religiously I have been listening to them since they started like years and years ago when they were the morning breath and then I'm also loving vile files for like my pop culture updates I think that he always has really good guests on and it's one of my faves and then also comments by celebs it's good too I love pop culture i'm super into it it's a nice escape for me to just like understand what's going on with celebrities and reality stars whatever and it's so silly and doesn't affect my life at all but i like that it's like escapism for me so those are my favorite podcasts in case you're looking for some fun podcasts and then also right now i'm listening to a ton of like book club podcasts on iron flame and just like fantasy novels because i can't get enough and i should have known that i would love fantasy see mystical romance novels because I loved Harry Potter so much and not that that is romance by any means but I love just being transported when I'm reading into a world that has like nothing to do with my own life or reality and so I really really enjoy these types of books and I feel like a lot of people are like ew fantasy or sci-fi or whatever that's not for me because it just feels weird but give it a chance it's just so nice to just break free and it's so much better than like scrolling your phone or doing god knows what on our little screens i'm just really happy that i've like found the love for reading again i'm actually starting akatar my girlfriend lily is mailing me the series so i'm hoping to start that in the next few days but right now i'm gonna go do laundry i have my book club meeting in an hour and then the girls will be home after that so Let's just continue taking advantage of this free time. You look so cute. Oh, thanks. This weather is like curing my seasonal depression right now. Don't forget. I, literally 44 degrees out, but I swear to God, you could have told me it was 75 and sunny. I would have believed you. And the groundhog, like, did he lie? Like, I'm over <laughs> the cold weather. Like, is that a beer? What is that, Lily? I just have like so many questions. Do you want your pillow? Yeah. Did you miss your pillow? <laughs> the mommy lay? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Deanna, should we get your pillow? Yeah. Where is it? How do you get a pillow? Pillow. Cozy. Should we get cozy? <laughs> oh. <laughs> cozy. Caterpillar. Okay. Okay. Can, can you count the strawberries? Good. Just got the girls to bed, major meltdowns before hand, and really scary actually. Jonathan just had to pull a tick off of Ren. I saw her like before bed, um, exactly what you were just doing, doing exactly, yeah, like, like just like <laughs> going like this, and I was like, what is she doing? Took off her shirt and literally saw the tick, and honestly, like freaked out, it really freaked me out, like I, yeah. it really freaked me out, and Jonathan like was quick to act and ripped it right off of her. She didn't love that, but. They're outside girlies, it's gonna happen. I know, but like, oh, I did not like it. I, I did not like it. <laughs> Serious thing though, you gotta check for it, cause. You, yes, reminder, Lyme check disease, your children. Yeah, check. Yes, like, you all probably check your dogs, like. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I could think of. I was like, oh my god. We would always like check Dobby and like you gotta check yourselves. You too. gotta check yourself. Yeah, I don't know. I never like I'm not good about checking myself. You I never just avoid bugs. Yeah, I'm just like honestly <laughs> ignorance is bliss. Person. If there's a bug on me, I don't it's wanna like, hear about it. I don't wanna know. No, your, it's not funny. Your it's not interaction funny. with bugs ends at the movie Bugs Life. <laughs> That's about as much bug as you'll do. It's so true, but that really freaked me out. And we were in like it happens though. I know, but the worst part was like they were melting and like they yeah. just wanted to go to bed. They were so tired and we were just like trying to check them all over which we did we got in their hair you were so good like yeah. but they were screaming crying and they did not want us touching them it was just stressful it was stressful but it's okay 
We're about to take CBD gummies yeah. and what? put up. Wait, what? Oh, nice. I didn't know we were doing that. Oh, time. yeah. Sweet. Yeah, Carmen's Medicinals. I was telling them about the origin story. I'll fill you in. I'm gonna CBD gummy it up and do a little project, Jonathan and I, and I'm so excited about it. I have been wanting to do a gallery wall and I have been thrifting over the last few weeks. I thrifted every single one of these frames except I think, which one did I not thrift? That black one looks nice. Which, no, these are both thrifted. One of them, not thrifted, but they pretty much all are. And they're so beautiful. This is literally dried flower, like actual dried flower. Anyways, I need to like map out where I want this and it's all going in this corner right here. It's so bare over here and we just need something. So I recruited Jonathan to help me. We're gonna get after it. Also, I meant to note that this is actually just printed for my computer. It's kind of like an antique beach photo. It's super cute, but it's going to be the size of the whole frame. The image just hasn't arrived yet and been delivered so I'm doing this as a placeholder to try to like see the vision but this will look better when it's the full high quality photo Can't decide. Hold on, let me look again. <laughs> this has been the best date night ever. <laughs> Picture perfect. <laughs> okay, last one. Does that feel right? <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I just peed. <laughs> I have no control over my bladder. How many golf rounds that just got me? <laughs> There you have it, DIY gallery wall. What's your favorite painting? Um, my favorite painting, well, my favorite frame that I thrifted is this I one. I painting, <laughs> I <ass painting. laughs> I love our Rose girl. She, I found her and loved her. She's a little rose on her. This is our Abbey Road Beatles record that it I- sure was. That I put in here and Jonathan's like, why you, did you, you just take the liberty to do that? Sure was a record. Yep, and now it's on the wall. I don't know which one's my favorite. They're all my favorite, but I'm exhausted. Same. Oh, All right. Lovey can eat pancakes too. Yes. I love Lovey's on the stairs. Lovey's belong on the stairs. Good job, girls. Good job. You gotta be on this side when we close it. Hi. Hey. Fork. Fork. You want a fork? Yeah. What color is the fork? Yellow. No, that's purple. Yellow. Purple. What color is your plate? Ready, can you cheer sissy? <laughs> She's like, I'll cheers, but I'm not giving up my juice. <laughs> no. Cheer. Oh. Yes, donuts on me, sure. Did we have a silly morning? Yes. You can say hi. Yes. Pinky. And now Lovey. you have pillows. Lovey's waiting for you to be done eating. You want Lovey to have a bite? Yeah. Nom, 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 nom. Oh, 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 pancakes are awesome. Your pancakes, I'm done. <laughs> you have to be so gentle, okay? Or else we can't hear the music. Yep, yep, push the button. You can push it. Here comes the sun. Beautiful, Renny. Wow. wow! You are such a beautiful dancer. Come on under. Hey! <laughs> wow! <laughs> like, when did she become a teenager? That is the fishy. Are you being a horsey? You smell the flowers? 
Oh, do they smell good? Mm. That's a horsey. Honey, how do you be a horsey? Sienna, watch out. Sienna, watch your head. Careful of the dresser. You can roll back to mama. Keep turtle. Oh. And the Easter bunny. Ooh. Mom and dad need coffee. Not a bad coffee view this morning. <laughs> Good job, little lady. You have a whale? Shark, mama. Oh, is that a shark? No. Oh, yeah, that is a shark. Deanna's got the football. She's going to score a touchdown. The crowd goes crazy. <sighs> football. football. Can you throw it to mama? Good job. Do you want to hear a story about a goat? The goat's name was Tom Brady. Dobby had to go to the doctor to get medicine yesterday in his knee. Dobby's going to live to be 100 years old. Mommy. Mommy. Mommy, yeah. Mommy throw it? Yeah. Do you score a touch or you say? I'm on fire. Doctor. <laughs> Can you share your cracker? <laughs> Let's tell everybody about our morning. What did we do? Did we go to the park, girls? Did we go to the park? And did you go down a slide? Did Mama get coffee? Coffee. Coffee. <laughs> you can't touch, though. You can look, but no touching, okay? <laughs> can you blow kisses? It was a fun morning. Mama needs more coffee. Jeez. Mama needs to grab another snacky poop. Do they need more? Yeah. Do you want, an, you want another cracker? Okay, mommy's gonna get another cracker. Love a good cracker run. Guys, if you want to give your kids like a snack that won't overfill them up, like they'll still eat their lunch in 30 minutes, these are so good. They're the Happy Baby Teethers. I think they're meant for like babies, but they are great because they're so light and it just kind of holds them over. You know, toddlers, they always need to be <laughs> snacking on something. You? Yum. Say thank you. Can you say thank you? It is much later on and Jonathan and I got the girls down for a nap. We both ate lunch and just like chilled for a minute. He actually just left to bring the dog to get his nails trimmed because they were crazy long. And he took him to the park. They're just having a little boy's day. I let myself have a minute to just like relax. All I wanted to do was read. I cannot wait for the Akatar books to come in the mail. But I just poured myself my cherry cola Olipop because this is my favorite afternoon pick me up. And I'm trying to organize my little thrift studio that is 50% of my bedroom. And I'm starting to pull things out of my closet that I want to sell this week. I'm gonna do like an Instagram Instagram story sale I think of a ton of items. I just want to do a spring clean out. I accumulate so many pieces as I thrift bundles and and I just feel like I want to sell a lot of the items because a lot of them are really good quality and they just haven't worked in a bundle. I just have a lot of good stuff right now and I'm also going to sell a lot of things that are in my own closet, things I've thrifted for myself. I just I'm feeling like I want to just do a refresh. So I'm trying to get a lot of things together right now. So definitely follow me on Instagram if you're interested in buying anything. I will give all the information there. But I just have some really cute stuff right now. Like these overalls are so cute. I always try to pick up good quality overalls when I see them because there's always an appetite for overalls. Just some dresses, this jean dress. And then I don't know who remembers. This was like when I was pregnant, I think. I did my thrift around Boston video and I picked up this vintage Givenchy windbreaker. I honestly don't know if I should really part ways with it because I feel like this is an iconic piece, but I never wear it. So I'd rather it go to someone that will. Watch me be looking for this all spring after I sell it. Who knows? I'm obsessed with it. It just reminded me of my mom and like clothes she had when I was a kid. So I don't wear it and I hate having things in my closet that don't serve a purpose. I find it to be like wasteful. So yeah, just going to work on a little thrift business right now. And then I also wanted to spruce up this space. I always film like TikToks over here and thrift bundle hauls and stuff and I have one piece of art and my little macrame hanging decor whatever but 
When I was putting together the gallery wall, I ordered a lot of paintings, these gorgeous canvas prints online. All of the frames are thrifted, but some of the paintings and like canvas art within the frames were ordered online. And I have so many that I kind of want to just like put these all over the wall over here. I'm just interested in bringing some like color to this area of the room. I picked up a lot of art that kind of like contrasted each other. I have a lot of eclectic colorful pieces downstairs on the gallery wall and in this pile. And then I have kind of vintage looking art and I like the way that it looks together. Together. I think it's a juxtaposition, but it's super interesting and I like that. So I have some wall stickies. I think I'm just gonna like play around and like put art up all over this wall. Why not? So that's my plan for the rest of nap time. Then I'm going to get snack and dinner together. We're actually taking the girls to a water park for the evening. There's this um, park near us. It's like the only indoor water park in North Shore and it's a really big one it's super cool they have a whole toddler area so I don't think I'm gonna vlog I think it'll be too hard I am going to be creating a reel though because I'm working with a brand which is really exciting so again another reason to follow me on Instagram I will post over there but I feel like the girls are going to love it I'm so excited and that's later tonight and then tomorrow is Sunday and I'll spend the morning with the girls and then I'm actually going to a twin mom meetup I haven't seen my like twin mom group in so long I think our last meetup was like six months ago or something. We tried so hard. The holidays just like, it was so crazy and chaotic and we're kind of from all over New England and like the North Shore area, but it's just been so hard and we're trying to get back together. I think there's like seven of us meeting and I'm so excited. I'm really looking forward to seeing them and just hearing about motherhood and it's just so nice to have that community and I'm really excited to see them. So I'm looking forward to that, but that's like the rest of my weekend and I think I'm going to end this vlog here. So I just appreciate you all so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. I would love to have you stick around and keep up with us. There's a lot of fun things coming, especially with the warmer weather rolling in. I love you guys so much. I hope that you are enjoying the spring season and I will see you in my next video. What did you do? <laughs> Saturday. Oh, oh my Yo, god. Oh, that didn't look like that on display. It's melted. <laughs> <gasps> That's peanut butter, ain't it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jonathan texted me and said I did something bad. Meet me in the kitchen. I want to get you like a little nervous. That's so sweet, babe. So well, sweet. I ended off my vlog, but now we'll end it on a sweet note. Bye, Aww. everyone. Bye. Double sweets.